أسعد الله أوقاتكم مشاهدينا الكرام وأهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة مع برنامج رواد الأعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقة أن نستضيف رجل أو سيدة أعمال رحبوا معنا اليوم بضيفتنا المميزة الأستاذة رشا زيتون أهلا وسهلا Special welcome from the Business Pioneer Program from ABC Would you please tell us more about yourself and about the business that you have started here in UAE? Thank you for having me. Um, so we started um, Eternity Beauty Salon in 2020. Uh, my name is Rasha Zaitoun. I'm a originally Palestinian, um, living in the UAE from 2000. Oh, sorry, yeah, from 2000. Um, so ever since I graduated from university, came to Dubai, um, had the opportunity to be employed um, by excellent um, multinational companies in marketing, advertising, PR, opened my first company, which is a training company. And in 2020, um, Mr. Karim, who is the owner, and I am just a partner as well as the, managing, uh, the manager of Eternity Beauty Salon, decided in 2020, during COVID, um, to open um, Eternity Beauty Salon in Sustainable City. Would you please tell us about the services that you provide? We provide services for the woman to feel good, to feel happy, to feel confident. We provide services from hair, um, that includes um, hair treatments, scalp treatments, um, customized for the client. Um, we have some clients who have oily uh, scalp, but very dry hair, which is very normal in the UAE weather. Um, so we have high quality uh, brands um, and treatments that treat the hair of our clients based on their hair and not based on a specific procedure. Um, we have hair treatment, um, hair color, which is balayage, um, roots, highlights, all the coloring treatments from no ammonia to ammonia, trying to keep it also as sustainable as possible, being in sustainable city and eco-friendly environment. Then we go to our facials. We have all types of facial from deep cleansing, um, teenagers, we have teenagers who are suffering from acne due to the weather and due to hormonal growth, as well as we have anti-aging and moisturizing um, deep facial um, facials. When it comes to our facial products, again, sustainable, really making sure that it's eco-friendly, um, it has no harmful ingredients, and it follows our policy about being as eco-friendly as possible in order to meet um, the eco-friendly environment we are in. Then we go for our nails. We take our nails very serious um, because nails are a very important part of a woman's um, daily life. Um, we take pride in having nice nails. Um, so our nails are very important. We have treatments for our nails. We have all services for nails, whether it is for, you know, the people who like acrylic nail art and for um, the Muslims who want to also have nail polish. We also have the breathable halal um, nail polish to allow all women to look as beautiful and confident as possible. We also offer here hair extensions, which we highly recommend for those who want to get their hair longer or need it to be more fuller, or even want to play with color and don't want to damage their hair, so they can do highlights with their extensions, um, as well as keratin, Botox, and newer technology hair products that allow the hair to not have the frizz due to the humidity in the UAE, or also to ensure that there's no frizz if naturally they have frizz. Among this strong competition here in UAE, how did you make your place special? I think there's a few factors that make um, our place special, um, not just for me and I think for our clients, is our people. Um, our people are unique, um, not in their services, not in their technical service, but in their way that they handle their clients. They are part of the client's daily life, they're part of the client's family life, maybe on the outside. Um, so our people, we take a huge pride in them, very highly trained when it comes to communication skills, to um, personal effectiveness development, and we take that extremely serious. We expect our technicians when they are hired to be good. 
But what we don't know is attitudes and personality. And this we take a lot of pride in. So this needs to be more important than anything else that comes. We expect good quality, but we expect attitude and personal effectiveness and self-development to be number one. That's one. Number two is motivation of our, um, our technicians. Our technicians, some came with one service only and have now learned and self-developed to three to four services. And that shows you their dedication to the place much more than me asking. Actually, it is a self-requirement and they do it by themselves. So this shows you that they're happy. It shows you that they want the salon to be successful. So without them, I will tell you, we would not be a differentiator or successful. And the last is our location and our vision to be not just an eco-friendly, um, safe haven and a, and a place where ladies can come, feel at home, um, ask for what they want, get customized solution, but mainly it is about being a community salon. And this is the difference between a business salon and a community salon. In all cases, we want money, we want profit, we open a business to make money. But there's a difference between how we make it. And I think being a community salon, we earn a lot of points with our relationship with our clients. We have a client, I mean, she was born, you know, while we opened, and now she is doing Princess Manny Petty with us. We have a child who started with Princess Manny Petty and now is doing highlights and is graduating from university. So, uh, graduating from high school. So, you can see that. It's become a family salon, just like at home when we are in Egypt or in Jordan or in Lebanon, in the Middle East. We all know the salon that our mother went to, our aunt went to. So we tend to go to it and they become our salon in the future. And this is the way we've always been brought up. We go to the salon that is in our neighborhood. Our mom knows it, our aunts know it. And she probably, my mother, it's her, grand, her mom who took her to that salon. This is what we wanted to build, a salon where the kids can come in, they come, hug our technicians, we miss you, this, they will come and say, mommy will come and pay, um, put it on the account. So it's become a family. And of course, it didn't happen in one year. Um, it's been four years going into our, going now into our fifth year. So you can see that now the children are becoming our clients and the mothers may be leaving, they're staying. So we believe in that to the point that we also have um, a special rate for our teenagers. So the rates of the teenagers here is very different than the rates of the moms. And that's because we want to be nice to the mom. She has to pay for it. So we are giving, we give special rates for them. And there will be also um, launched this month um, special rates for college students because there's a lot of college students who have decided to stay in the UAE and not leave the UAE. And we wanted to give them also a special, um, you know, rate that they can enjoy in Eternity Beauty Salon. After this amazing success, what's your future plan and vision for your company? There's a lot of plans and you know, you can say, I want to be, uh, I want to have six salons, I want to have seven salons, but it's a dream of every investor, um, especially I can tell you for Mr. Karim, he would love to have 600 you know, salons everywhere. But I think it's the main point is make this salon first, the salon you want, and then open up. So this is for us the key to make this. We've got lots of gaps um, in procedures. You've got lots of gaps in a lot of things because things change, you want to fix. So until we are 100%, we are looking at branching out in the UAE. What message would you like to give to the UAE government for the safety and security that they are providing and for all the support that they are giving to business owners? I'd like to say thank you for the opportunity. I was one of those people who came in 2000 um, as a young um, single woman in the Middle East, which is not very easy for us. Um, thank you for the opportunity um, for being able to grow in this market, especially as a woman. Um, an opportunity to not just open a business, but have such regulation. So that does really help. Um, a lot of people might find it, it's too regulated. But this regulation 
does make things easier, makes procedures much easier. Um, the safety, um, the safety in the UAE. I mean, we leave the business, you know, there's no locks at the door. It's just a key. Um, so there's a lot of safety, whether it's for you, for your employees or for the people. So I, I would just say full appreciation and gratitude. And definitely I've not just invested for a few years. I'm here for, you know, 20 years and I expect another 20 years, inshallah. Would you please tell us and all the viewers that they can find and reach you? They can reach us um, in Sustainable City, um, which is next in Dubai land, Al Qudra Road, um, next to Arabian Ranches. A lot of parking, um, great people. Um, you can find us on our Instagram page and on our Facebook page. You can find our numbers on as well Facebook, Instagram. You can WhatsApp us, call us, and we'll be there to do what we can to make you feel beautiful. Thank you so much. And I hope for you all the best and success in the world. I appreciate it and thank you very much. Ila huna tanta halakatul yom tabi'una kulla jum'a wa sabta ala qanat ABC. Dumtum bi khair wa fi riayatillah.